You can have the boat or the mystery box. What, are you crazy? We'll take the boat. No, 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 not so fast, Lois. A boat's a boat, but the mystery box could be anything. It could even be a boat. You know how much we've wanted one of those. Then let's just... Well, take the box. Give me your badge. Fine. By the way, Horowitz, you should show Joe your impression of him. Oh, well, no, I, he's not as good as, you know, my Irish cop. It's just a little thing I... Look at me, I'm Joe. My legs don't work, but I make up for it by having a very strong upper body. <laughs> well, I do say that. Meg and I have been working nights. I'll take the one on the right. Well, once again, Meg, I'll be back in an hour. We don't have empty rooms right now, but if you'll have a seat... Yeah, uh, I kind of, uh, warmed myself up in the car if you catch my drift. I could put you in the storage freezer. That'll work. Nurse, I've got a splinter! Just come out whenever you're done. Oh, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God! Oh, God, I... I think I feel them moving. This is my family. My wife, Lois. My son, Chris. Chris, stop licking yourself and come up and say hi. My daughter, Meg. Our puppy, Stewie. And this is our human, Brian. Nice to meet you. Who else but Quagmire? He's Quagmire. I do hope nothing happens to spoil this fancy dinner party. <gasps> Who else but Quagmire? He's Quagmire, Quagmire. Stop it! Cut it out! I have a glandular problem. That'll be $60. Oh, man, look at that kid. That is one ugly eighth grader. You don't want to hurt yourself dancing. Make sure you stretch out those creamy hamstrings. Hello, everybody. June! Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is a Disney universe. We have your son. Meg's our daughter. Hi, my partner and I want to have a baby. We'd like a vial of sperm and an applicator that looks like Jodie Foster's knuckles. Certainly. Let me just go to the freezer. Mr. Griffin, you were in there an awfully long time. Are you all right? Yep, yep, fine, fine. And uh, just so you know, everything in there is exactly the way it was when I went in. There was absolutely zero chance that I spilled all the jars and had to refill them with my own sperm. Zero chance. Hey, Chris, you are responsible for guarding the camp while we're fishing. You got it, Dad. You can count on me to... Chris, pay attention. I want you to... Bye, Dad. Don't wait up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Lisa. Come back here. You're not going out with all that makeup on. But, Dad... Upstairs, you're a McDonald, not a whore. I was watching something on TV about this guy named Hitler. <gasps> Somebody should stop him. Is she retarded? I'm here with rides a 10-speed everywhere guy. Sir, why are you riding your 10-speed in the rain? I don't mind. A little drizzle never hurt anybody. Uh, I like riding the 10-speed because it's fun, uh, it gives me energy, and it's a great way to stay in shape. How long have you lived in Quahog? Well, I used to live in the city, but I decided moving here would be a little more relaxing, a little more manageable, and it's a great way to stay in shape. So, is, uh, is this like the part where you guys have your way with me? What? You know, where I'm, like, helpless and you guys take turns, you know? Oh, no! Oh, God! Oh, no, 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 no! What'd she say? She asked if we were gonna have our way with her. Ew! No, seriously, I won't scream or anything. No! No, I, I, no, no sale. Come on! I'm pretty! Ah! 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 <sighs> Are you okay? Yeah, I was so scared. What do you do for a living? I work in accounts receivable at Quahog Insurance. Uh, it's not too demanding, the pay is good, and it's a great way to stay in shape. Well, we should wrap this up. You're getting wet. Well, I'm living life before the cancer I have kills me, so uh, I don't mind the rain. Water feels good on my skin. It's cool, refreshing, and it's a great way to stay in shape. What kind of cancer? It's rectal cancer. It's slowly eating away at my lower insides. Uh, it's a quick process, both painful and untreatable, and it's a great way to stay in shape. I want some more of Jillian's delicious lemonade. I know, it's good, right? I just wish they didn't have to kill so many lemons to make it. Does it feel like the water suddenly just got warmer? No. Oh, that's right, it's pee that makes it warmer. Hey. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Uh, you you got to hit uh, DVD and then menu and then select. Yeah. Yeah, the, the DVD needs to be face up when you put it in. Uh-huh. You should be able to see the words, Mr. 3000. Yeah. Still nothing? Is it plugged in? Okay, so plug it in. Okay. Come on, let's go out dancing. I don't know, I'm feeling kind of cozy tonight, kind of mellow. I just really want to go dance. Oh, there it is again. What is that? I'm so full. Full of what, estrogen? Come on, take the skirt off, you pansy. Oh. Let's go, chow down, Mary Jane. Oh, I said I can't. Eat it, eat no. the damn steak. Come on, what are you I waiting can't. for? Eat it, Joe. No, eat no, it. no, yeah. I said I'm not hungry! Where is it now, huh? Where is it now? Easy, sailor, easy. Put the gun down, Joe. Yeah, nobody's judging you, man, it's cool. I'll just put this back in your purse next to your tampons. Okay, Joe. Right foot green. All right, let's do it! Yes! I am the king! God, you are so cool. Although sometimes it's like, what's the deal? You never answer your cell phone. And your messages are often ambiguous. Amen. The altos were early. Now, this is the worst glee club I've ever... Oh, oh come on. Where are you going? The benefit's tomorrow. Relax. The sand people frighten easily, but they'll be back. And in greater numbers. Well, that'll give us a richer harmony. Oh, yeah, no, it's going to sound fantastic. Oh, this is wonderful. Look at this, Peter. 200 die in train derailment. Oh, God, Lois, that is just morbidly obese. I'm tired of being left out of all our decision-making. Okay, honey. <coughs> By the way, I bought a chimp. We want the truth, Kobe. Did you rape her? Ooh. What were we talking about? Okay, why don't you just get yourself settled up on the table? I'll give you a minute. Uh, what am I supposed... You ready in there? Yep. Oh, ha ha, you put some fake poo on the floor. Oh no! G get out! Get out! Stand! Do you think we should support what the president is doing? Well, I just think, for starters, that sometimes the government has things they can't tell us, and truthishly, we should just accept that. <sighs> this is more like it. Whoa, I just bought a Rottweiler, and I need a sign to warn people how dangerous it is. Well, we have exactly what... Ah, uh, yes, here it is, one way. So people will know if they step into my yard, there's only one way out. In a body bag. From dog injuries. Good day, ma'am. It's given me a chance to work on my novel, and I finally have a title. Ah, uh, what is it? Faster Than the Speed of Love. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst title I've ever heard. Holly, welcome to Fjord's Bakery. Would you like a hot piece of pee? It's on the hoose. What? Oh, no, you're covered in my hot pee. You can wash yourself off in the waiter closet. And now, back to Two and a Half Men. Kill <laughs> me! Well, at least the TV gets decent reception. Huh, must be some kind of nature show. Ah, ah, help! Help! Get off! Get off! Ah! <sighs> <sighs> <gasps> Is that a baby in there? Oh my god! He's gonna miss the game! Ah! What the hell was that? Ah! Oh my god! Lois, don't get alarmed, but I think I might be Jesus. Glad I could do my part. I think you may have done too much. <clears throat> I know what you're thinking. 
Sir, I think you should know these growths on your forearms. They're giant tumors. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't realized this is not how a human being is supposed to look. And the speech thing and what you're doing with your eye? Uh, you had a stroke about seven years ago. That you've managed to be walking around all this time is nothing short of a miracle. I'd say about two months. <laughs> I am not your dad. I am Electric Man. Oh, I think that's me. Hello? <laughs> hey, hey, Peter, it's Quagmire. Oh, hey, Quagmire. Guess what? Last night I had sex with a black chick. Uh, uh, I, I, I gotta go. <laughs> Sorry. What? All he said was black chick. Yeah, I know, but your boyfriend looks like one of your typical angry black guys, and I didn't want to offend him. Hey, we cool, G? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <gasps> Here they come. Kiss me! Come on, we gotta follow them. Stewie? Huh? Oh, oh. Uh, Everything all right? Uh, yeah, uh... Hey, listen, freaking shot in the dark. You wanna do something sometime? Oh, God, I'm so sorry. It, that's never happened to me before. It's just... You're so attractive, and it's been a while. I'm gonna go. You know, some people say that's good for your hair. Yeah, thanks. So I brought you a condom. Use it wisely, though. It wasn't easy to obtain. Mm. 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 Ah, hey, what the hell are you doing? Hey, give that back. Oh man. Now, where were we? Mm. <laughs> oh, this is much better. Hey, you guys, you remember those hot homeless twins who live under the overpass? Well, last night I got... Wait, 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 Quagmire, let me cover Stewie's ears. And this is the hand that caused all the trouble. <laughs> Got your nose, little guy. <laughs> Boobies! Chris, that's enough. Well, I'm sure glad to be out of there. You said it, Lois. What those people are doing just ain't natural. Boobies! Did you hear me, young man? I don't know what the big deal was. I thought they were nice. Boobies! Peter. Do it. Did you have fun at the circus today, Chris? Elephants are bigger in person. Well, there once were two cowboys all alone out on the trail. And they discovered they could sleep with another male. Now they're having butt sex. Cowboy butt sex. Sodomy. Come on, everybody. Sodomy. I can finally afford that operation to swap my vocal cords with Patrick Stewart. Hey, Lois. Sorry about the mess in the upstairs bathroom this morning. My post-sex peace stream forked in half last night and got everywhere. Hey, hey, Lois, look at me. I got postpartum depression. Wah! I'm sad about stuff. Wah! Ah, ah, oh, God! Ah, ah, ah! The fire truck can consume eight times its body weight. <laughs> The ambulances will have to wait their turn. Quick, to the Peter Copter! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, my God! Oh! Peter, what the hell? Joe! Joe, get inside! The blaze is oh still God, spinning! Peter, get, what is Joe, that thing? Joe, get inside! Jerry, the my yard! Oh, 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 God! God. Oh, no! No! no. Oh, ah, ah. Oh. Oh. Excuse me, Mayor West? How do you know my language? Listen to me. My entire future is in your hands. Are you Sarah Connor? How you, uh, how you coming on that novel you're working on? Huh? Got a big, uh, big stack of papers there? Got a, got a, got a nice little, nice little story you're working on there? A big, big uh, novel you've been working on for three years? Huh? Got a, got a compelling protagonist? Yeah, got an uh, got a obstacle for him to overcome? Huh? Oh, you're a worse parent than Britney Spears. I know, I know. Oh, the gift basket was not worth the trip. Not by a long shot. Oh, I gotta get that. I'll talk to you later. Honey, get in here. What is it? Just, just get in here. What? Oh, my God. Right? It's like you don't, don't even, even have, have cancer. cancer. I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, but I still have pretty aggressive cancer. Hey, uh, Joe. Oh, don't say it, Peter. No, I was just wondering now. Uh... Peter, I swear to God. What's your handicap? Oh, 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 every hole. That's a joke that just doesn't get old. 
Oh my god, Dad. What's on your face? Meg, it goes by many names. Soup strainer, lip whiskers, and until recently, giant horse vagina. But I prefer the term mustache. Oh, I think it's sexy. I think it's gay. It's not gay, Brian. If I'm gay, then Freddie Mercury was gay. Freddie Mercury, the lead singer of Queen? He was incredibly gay. He was not. He had a mustache, which is practically like a wedding ring. You may now kiss the bride. Kiss her? I am gonna destroy her. Ten bucks. Five bucks. Eight bucks and I'll do it. Fine. Help! I've escaped from Kevin Spacey's basement! Help me! Ha! I am so outrageous! Give me the cash. Cold in here? Nope, just really small. Uh, can we get some salami and... Brian, Brian, let me handle this. Uh, scusi! Baba da boopy? Che cosa? Peter, what are you doing? Speaking Italian. Baba da boopy? Peter, you can't speak Italian just because you have a mustache. Tu sei un pazzo, va a vedere qui. Sono stanco di te, ti do un pugno nella testa. Cugino con questa carne. We have a butt. We 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 have a butt. Cool weekends in the morning, 97.1 FM. Cool weekends in the morning with Weenie and the Butt. WQHT 97.1. 97.1. 97.1. We 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 have a butt. In the morning, cool weekends. FM. Weenie. 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 And the butt. And welcome back. Boy, I'm sure glad nobody's here to see this. And if you look off the left side of the ship, you'll see a bunch of homosexuals. A la izquierda del barque, podemos ver las fanny bandits. Maybe, uh, maybe your main character gets into a relationship? Uh, suffers a little heartbreak? Something like, uh, what, what you've been, you've just been through? Draw from a real life experience? Little, uh, little heartbreak? You know? Work it into the story? Make those characters a little more three-dimensional? Little, uh, richer experience for the reader? You know, uh, the kids are going to be at that town social for a while. I think I know where you're going. <laughs> 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 ah, ah, ah! Oh, God! Ah, ah, ah! Stewie and I were getting along so good, and now he hates me. How do I get him to like me again? Well, that depends. Do you really want my advice, or are you just asking random questions again? What's a hypotenuse? Jude Law and Renee Zellweger in The Picnic. Oh, no. These ants are ruining our picnic. You mean this picnic is ruining our ants. Look around your world, pretty baby. Is it everything you hoped it'd be? We now return to Dr. Terry Fabulous, homosexual gynecologist. Okay, Mrs. Robinson, let's take a look. Ew, it looks like a sad old man. You know how you always wanted a real diamond engagement ring? <gasps> oh, my God! That's right, I bought a horse. Oh, honey, no one thinks you're fat. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. You can't park your van on the diving board. They even got some of that high-class British porn. Almost. 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 There we are. Well done. You know, boys, we just might make this our regular spot. Peter! Peter! Yeah, I'm sorry, Joe. I uh, just had one of my Scrubs fantasy moments. It's the best show you're not watching. I hate shows that cut away from the story for some bullshit. Honey, where'd you go when you went out last night? Uh, just over to Tom's house. Played some poker, had some brewskis, you know. Really? Then would you mind explaining that? At least they know how to touch a man! Oh, walk away. Some of the best restaurants in the world. They even have Indian food here. Not the local kind, but the mm-mm kind. <laughs> I'm back from space, everybody. You got lucky, Peter. How was it, Dad? Oh, mind-boggling, Chris. Barreling around the Earth at five miles per second, watching the sun rise over the Sea of Japan, it's indescribable. Plus, I had lots of time to masturbate, which in space is great, except after a while, it's like living in a snow globe. It sort of turns out that I'm technically mentally retarded. And, um, you know, I just wanted to ask, you know, how, how do you deal with it? Deal with what? You, you know, with, with being retarded. Peter, I'm not retarded. I'm handicapped. Oh, well, now you're just splitting hairs. Hey, Peter, what's up? Oh, hey, Quagmire. Just taking the family on vacation. Oh, that's good. Oh, hang on a second. I'm stuck behind some fat ass driving too slow. Come on, stupid, move it! Now, hang on, Quagmire. Some jerk behind me is honking his horn. Oh, you should totally flip him off. Oh, hang on a sec. Some fat ass just flipped me off. Hey, up yours, you jerk! Hang on, Quagmire. I gotta kick this guy's ass. Yeah, I gotta kick this guy's ass. Hey, I'll call you back after the fight. Yeah, me too. Good luck in yours. Good luck in yours.
This has got to be some kind of prank. You know, like that prank I pulled on Ashton Kutcher. Ashton, come here. Eh, you've just been tomahawked. This must be the McBurger Town Slaughterhouse. Sir, you are correct. But in here we call it Dachau. Dachau? Dachau. Except we spell the cow part C-O-W, like cow. So it's kind of, uh... Uh, sort of a dark joke. Yeah, yeah, it's a Holocaust joke. That's that's really funny. So where were we? Right about here. Ah, oh, come on, baby. It's my birthday. No. <laughs> Sorry, retarded. Oh, that's okay then. <laughs> Don't know any better. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> Jeez, didn't you hear me a second ago? I'm retarded. Oh, you're just curious. Well, let me show you how everything works down there. This one checks her heart rate, this one checks her veins, and this dispenses gravy for her mashed potato brains. Oh, 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 Terry Shivo is kind of a lipo. What a lively little bugger. Maybe we should just unplug her. Terry Shivo is kind of a lipo, the most expensive plant you'll ever see. Stop. Not so fast, y'all. You think you can just up and run away? You crazy. I like to eat people from other planets, especially y'all. I like to eat you with my little mouth, too. Oh, now y'all get back up inside me, little mouth. I wants to play, too. Get back inside. I'll get you when we's eating them. Zoop. So far, the only station that comes in is some British guys reading news from places I'm not sure exist. Today, in Kazakhstan, a peaceful demonstration turned to bloodshed as members of the Tuzili tribe flooded Kenpao Square in remembrance of the third anniversary of the Holmesburg Massacre. But finally, some good news out of neighbouring Kanduzi, as locals there have reached an uneasy alliance with the bordering Trolika Bubsy Wubsy Dal. Hey Jesus, can you do something for me? Sure, Peter. What is it? <laughs> and now with sports, here's Frampel Tromwibbler. From the world of sport, the Coynton Spinky Wompers flumped the flying boying Welfenklompers 70 fluff to 40 flabe. At the tone, the time will be 26 Railroad. I'm not sure about any of that. You know, Dad, I saw that movie White Noise, and they said you can use empty radio static to talk to dead people. You idiot, ghosts don't exist. Wait a second, they might. Let's get you home. Wow, strange lady, you're so sexy. I should marry you tomorrow instead of that pain in the ass, Lois. Peter, it's me. You know what? Screw it. I am so gonna cheat on Lois right now. I don't care if she finds you out. Peter. You got a condom? Yeah, never mind. I got this Milky Way wrapper. Help! It's so sucky and squeezy. I'll handle this. I've tangled with the likes of these before. Wow, that was awesome, Mr. Seamus. Ah, it was nothing. That's how I caught old Woody over there. Ah, uh, now see, that's an even more beautiful sight than 72 virgins waiting in heaven for a suicide bomber. Here I am! We're playing Magic the Gathering. Want to join? Osama! Don't go breaking my hat! I couldn't if I tried. Oh, honey, if I get restless! Baby, you're not that... <laughs> What's the matter, Glenn? Uh, nothing. Oh, Stacy, you dropped your pom-pom in the water. I'll get it for you. I'll come with you. Me too. But wait a minute. We don't want to get our sweaters all wet. Better take them off. Splash fight! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Meg, I'll pay you a dollar a day to smell my sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I peed and pooped. Griffin, I never noticed you before. I like what I see. Uh, okay. Oh, no. I dropped my pencil. Oh, I'll get it for you. Yeah, this is gonna work out just fine. Excuse me. Bless us, O oh Lord, for these gifts we are about to receive. Help us to be mindful of all our blessings and...
I hope I'm allowed to do this. My mommy says don't run with scissors. <laughs> She's so cute. I love children. Look at my kids. So everyone feel free to browse and purchase from our fine selection. Hey, Mom, now would be a good time to raise my allowance. <laughs> my back is hurting from the chair I'm sitting on. Where's the Tylenol? If I lay down flat on the floor, it usually kind of fixes it. Tony Danza from Who's the Boss says, Ayo, ayo, oh, ayo, ayo. You know, I never told you guys this, but my police captain is a woman. One day she wheeled me into her office and then made me have sex with her. It was awful. Oh my god, that must have scarred you for life. No, I was into it. It was just awful sex. It was like trying to get a deflated balloon into a... uh... well, I guess a normal vagina. It was pretty bad. I just kind of feel like kicking it tonight. Oh, look at that, I'm growing all the time. Hey, uh, Jillian, can you give me a minute? You ever just let your balls hang out, b right? You ever do that, b rooney Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was bright. Give me my hair back. Ow! Oh, I wish that scary-looking clown at the end of my bed would go away. <laughs> wow. So, how do you do it? Oh, you're very nice to ask. Well, first I hang the old worm out there. They, they usually go for it. So I jerk them around a little, they fight for a while, and, and then they just lay back and accept it. Pardon me, sir. We're trying to locate a possessed child. Have you seen anyone who looks like this? Yeah, that's my son. He's actually in the Minimart right now. He'll be out in a second. Uh, I, I mean, I mean, no, no, never seen him before. Hmm. What was that first thing you said? Oh, I was just saying that baby in the picture is my son. He's traveling with us. He's part of our family. We're trying to avoid being found by police like you. Uh, uh, I mean, I was just remarking what a nice tie you have on. I love this tie. All right, you folks take care now. Well, we should probably get home. This area gets really dangerous at night. I used to lure wayward sailors to their deaths with my siren song. Peter, are you gay? Guilty! If you refuse to go peaceably, I'm afraid we'll have to use our superior linguistic skills to convince you to leave. Oh, yeah, just try it. Bye, Bye now. Sorry to bother you. God, I, I never saw it that way before. You know, they say Chuck Norris is so tough, there's no chin under his beard. There is only another fist. That's ridiculous. Chuck Norris? You are getting a little old to have a teddy bear. Brian, I'm one. Still? What? Um, Peter, you want to go see Disney on ice? Yes! I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put on my Donald Duck costume. Ready! If you squeeze me, I make bad people go away. But wait a minute. I thought guns were bad. False. Guns are good. In fact, did you know that Jesus and Moses used guns to conquer the Romans? Oh no, I dropped my glasses. Uh, by the way, uh, Pinocchio, uh, there was a cookie missing from the jar. Did you, uh, did you take it by any chance? Yes, Papa Gibetto. I'm sorry. Are you sure you took it? Because, uh, I'd believe you if you said you didn't. No, I took it, Papa. I wouldn't lie to you. You could try. Who knows, you might get away with it. Take to the highway, won't you lend me your name? Who sings that song? James Taylor. Yeah, let's keep it that way. Women, Brian. What a royal pain in the ass. It's like, it's like, why can't you just hang out with guys, you know? Just live with someone of your own sex. Just do what you would do with women, but with your buddy, you know? Why, why don't guys just do that? They do. It's called being gay. Oh, that's what gay is? Oh, yeah, I could totally get into that. Mmm, that must be the sugar. Oh, God, that's good. Rupert, suddenly I want to run. Chase me! <laughs> oh, now I'm sad. 
ever read the Bible? Leviticus 18.22. Stewie, you're judgmentally quoting Bible verses and you don't even know how to read. Welcome to America, Brian. I have 125. Do I hear 130? 130,000 for this authentic Comanche headdress. I got 130. I got 130. Do I hear 135? 140? Do I hear 140? B. 135 going once. Ooh, Hustler Magazine. I finally get to see what a vagina looks- ah, ah, Oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah, ah, ah. Chris, you're the man of the house now. Take the lessons I've taught you and be the best leader of this household you can. I will, Dad! Thank you! Fellas, I sure do love being gay. Harry's choice of lifestyle is wrong, so we're gonna beat him up for it. Now, take these baseball bats and get to it. <gasps> oh. All right, good so far. No, 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 don't use the bats like that. No, no, don't use them like that either. All right, look, just put them down and use your fists. No, 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 not like that. I haven't been this disappointed since I lost my virginity. Uh-oh. You want to get some breakfast or something? In sadder news, the man who held the Guinness World Record for most drugs ever done by a single human being died today. He was attacked by a pack of wild dogs he thought he saw. I mean, what kind of lazy, narcissistic, irresponsible moron would even consider doing something as unbelievably foolish as getting liposuction? Who, I ask you? Who? Hello? That'll be five dollars. Sorry, lost my wallet. But I already cut your hair. Ah, oh, well, guess there's nothing you can do about it now. That son of a bitch. Do I... do, do I have to? You want to be a star, don't you? Then take it off! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Sounds like a job for the A-team. Hi, Dad! Go to your room. Okay! I'll distract Lois while you steal money from her purse. Lois, look at me! Look at me! Look at me! <laughs> Caca! I've got her wallet! Caca! Daddy, what are you doing? Look at the unicycle! Well, she's got ten dollars in here, and it cost me nine hundred dollars for the six weeks of unicycle lessons. So we're a little in the red right now. I was wondering if I could put a little saddle on your back and ride you like a horsey. Oh, okay, okay. No, I, no, I, I understand. It's too much. It's okay. You know, I like Hillary Clinton. I don't care what anyone says. Ah, Peter, what's? Yeah, ah, yeah. Uh, uh, come uh, on, old Paint. Come on. Ow. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. That is some tasty stuff. That's from the uh, bake sale that Lois was. Yeah! Ooh, one down. I know somebody who won't be having any. Welcome. We open today's bidding with this pair of panties confiscated from a prostitute. Fifty bucks. She had nine STDs. Forty-five bucks. And when we caught her, she wet herself. Fifty bucks. Gosh, gosh, bagosh! It's a brand new paper boy. That's a mighty full sack you're carrying. Piss off, you perverted old freak. Ooh, -hoo, we got a fighter. Please rise. Now sit on it. The fawns be with you. And also with you. Let us A. A. You're Mel Gibson? Yes, I've put on a few pounds for my next role. I play Peter Griffin, a heroic warrior who defied the English to free England from the English. Holy mackerel! Let me show you to your room, Mr. Gibson. Peter, watch the road! Lois, get off my back, will you? I'm trying to watch TV. I swear to God, sometimes I think your head screwed on backwards. I mean, do you have any idea? <gasps> <laughs> Hey, Crashy. What are you doing down there? I don't trust you. You put your seed in my daughter's belly. You're fired. But, Pa, you can't fire me. You're lucky you're my brother, too, or I'd kill you. Fifteen years ago, I swallowed everything I needed to escape from a hostage situation. <laughs> a wall!
I'm starting to feel funny. Well, I feel fine. I guess I'm gonna be... <laughs> oh, boy! That means I win! I get to eat... <gasps> Chris Tucker and Jim K... Caviezel? Is that it? The guy from the first one? Passion of the Christ 2. Crucify this. You know how to use one of these? You know how to use one of these? This July, let he who is without sin kick the first ass. Here comes the next float, honoring uninjured veterans. Yeah! We rock! Our wives stayed with us! Think fast! We did! Yeah! Peter, did you paste a new picture of yourself on our wedding portrait? Yeah, I think it looks better. You pasted it over me. Yeah, I think it looks better. You know what really grinds my gears? This Lindsay Lohan. Eh? Lindsay Lohan with all those little outfits. Jumping around there on stage, half naked with, with your little outfits. You know? You're, uh, you're up there jumping around, and I'm just sitting here with my beer. So, you know, what am I supposed to do? Meg, stop staring at Mr. Griffin. I'm sorry, Peter. I'm afraid she's got a father's libido. What can I say? I'm a vegetarian. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all gone. I think it's... I don't want it. I don't want it. Man. Peter, Peter, I need you to hold my ears. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to put on a pair of gloves and we'll deliver this baby. Well, these don't feel like gloves at all. They feel like used needles. But this is where I always keep the gloves. Well, maybe if I dig deeper. Nope, just feels like more needles. Well, that's the craziest thing. Oh, now I'm sure this isn't the glove drawer. Hey, Rick, it's your cousin Marvin. Marvin Astley? You know that mediocre, generic sound you've been looking for? Well, listen to this. Never gonna give, never gonna give. Hola. Uh, me, me amo es Brian. Ah, uh, ah, uh, well, let's see. Uh, nosotros queremos ir con ustedes. Yeah, that was pretty good. But actually, when you said me amo es Brian, you don't need the ace. Just me amo Brian. Oh, you speak English? No, just that first speech and this one explaining it. You, you're kidding, right? Que? 9-11 changed everything. Peter, you didn't even know what 9-11 was until 2004. That's not true, Brian. I remember 9-11. <laughs> Must have been a woman pilot, eh? Oh, that was great. Thanks. I know you have a choice in airport sex, and I appreciate your choosing Quagmire. Please exercise caution when standing up, as the contents of your vagina may have shifted during coitus. You finding everything okay? Yes, thank you. Well, you just let me know if you need any... How do these jeans look? <laughs> Mr. President, did you reach a missile pact? Well, you could say that. There was a missile. And something definitely got packed. <laughs> did you discuss ICBMs? Well, I did see a BM. <laughs> so, would you consider this a successful summit? Oh, yes. I summited three times. Are you finished with the butt-fucking puns? When you say USA, I just say hooray. And if you're not from here, God's gonna hunt you down and give you AIDS. USA! My daughter needs a makeover like there's no freaking tomorrow. It's been 24 hours. Got my money? Oh, I, you know what? Just give me till next Friday. I'll have it for you. Oh. Oh, that's funny. I could have sworn I said have it today. Yeah, I don't have it. Sorry. Oh, well, all right then. Mm, that's good, OJ. Ah! Channel 5 News has discovered that there is an atheist among us. Local churchgoer and junior Christian soldier Meg Griffin has identified the atheist as Brian Griffin of Spooner Street. Here's the reaction from City Hall. Uh, shocking, to say the least. I'd rather have a terrorist living in our midst. At least they believe in a god. Even if it's a smelly brown god. I'm... I'm not really a man. I'm a woman. Oh my god, you're a woman? Well, actually, I'm not really a woman. I'm a horse. Oh my god, you're a horse? Actually, I'm not really a horse. I'm a broom. 
Say, which gate is flight 209? 209? That flight left half an hour ago. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! That plane's going down! My friends are on that plane! They're all gonna die! What? Oh, no! And that's not the worst part. Here's the condom I said I put on. <gasps> <laughs> Aren't I just the worst? Is there any way you guys could take Anna Lee? No, Quagmire. We got enough kids of our own. Plus old Brian over there. Right, buddy? I sharpened a pencil in my bum and now I need a band-aid. We have to destroy everything that's harmful to God. Well, I'm glad you married my daughter. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, actually, it wasn't me. It was... No, no it, it's okay. I'm used to it. You know, sometimes you just gotta make a decision and go with it. Like when I decided to try that radical penis enlargement. Peter, I don't think... Ryan, your objections are duly noted. Now hit the gas! You know that would never work again in a million years. Don't need it to, Brian. I'm afraid your parrot is dead. No! Did he at least die with dignity? Well, he convulsed a lot and fell off the operating table. Then he flopped around a little on the floor, and then a passing nurse accidentally stepped on him and kicked him into a puddle of urine, which must have frightened him because his bowels released all over himself. I tried to pick him up, but then I got angry because some of it got on my thumb. So I threw him against the wall, and that's where he died. That's the way I want to go. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm no different than any other guy. Joe, would you put on your hand shoes and take out the garbage? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Put my gun down. Not until I have my husband back. Ah, my perfect ass! Oh, I'm sorry, Joe. I was aiming for your spine. Ah, damn it! Joe, I'm so sorry. I'm a terrible shot. Ah, for God's sakes, just give me the gun! I'll do it myself! Why haven't you sent for help? But she said she never wants to see me again. Well, I'm sure you can come up with some excuse to see her at the vet. Is there any more coffee? Anna? I'm here with my dog. He's not feeling well. Fuck you. Hey guys, I wrote a song. Oh, that's great. Oh, good, Ringo. Fantastic. You know what? I'm gonna put it right here. Right on the refrigerator. That way we'll get to see it every day. All right. How much you pay for that fake mustache? Two ninety nine. Ah! Oh! 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 Listen, you just gotta give me more time. Ah! Everybody, I got bad news. We've been canceled. Oh no, Peter! How could they do that? Well, unfortunately, Lois, there's just no more room on the schedule. We've just got to accept the fact that Fox has to make room for terrific shows like Dark Angel, Titus, Undeclared, Action. That 80s show. Oh, this is my favorite event. Catch the greased up deaf guy. Go! You're never gonna catch me. You're wasting your time. Forget about it. Go do something else. See you all next year. Who's gonna feed me and protect me from the evil monkey in my closet? Now, Chris, you know there's no such thing. No! <laughs> American Embassy, Cedric the Entertainer, The Tick, Louie, and Greg the Bunny. Is there no hope? Well, I suppose if all those shows go down the tubes, we might have a shot. Peter, why is there a diaper in the lamp socket? Oh, Lewis, he's done it again! Wait a minute. Ha! <laughs> Spopel! Don't be sad, Peter. That's why they call it Spoople. <laughs> Look at all those hamburgers. You can't eat all those hamburgers, you stupid fella. Oh, jeez! Uh, he's 
gonna do it? Oh, he's so ridiculous. You hear me, you ridiculous man? You're... Whoa! Ah! Hey, Stewie, peek a -boo. Yes, I see you, fat man. <gasps> Where's Daddy? What? Where did you go? Oh, this is impossible. Well, I, I can hear you, but I can't see... Well, he must really be gone. peek a -boo. Ah! How the hell did you do that? Look, I thought you disappeared, otherwise I wouldn't have picked my... Oh, great, leave when I'm right in the middle of a sentence. Peter, what the hell is wrong with you? I fall asleep for ten minutes and you plow the car into a tree? Oh, my God, you gotta pay attention to the road. We could have been killed. I mean, look at the front of our car. It's totaled. It's completely totaled, Peter. Oh, this is just terrific. How are we gonna get... Oh, my God. I knew I should have driven. I should always drive. I cannot trust you, Peter Griffin. If I remember correctly, this is the physics department. That explains all the gravity. You taped over our wedding video? Relax, Lois. I just taped over the boring stuff. The couple has written their own vows, which they will now recite to each other. Peter, I... Look, the only reason I got myself arrested was to find out what happened to my sister. Excuse me, ladies. It's laundry time. It's so cold in here. I mean, look at my... I swear, sometimes I feel like I'm married to a child. What can I say about my beautiful bride except milk, milk, lemonade around a corner fudges made? <laughs> you better watch who you're calling a child, Lois, because if I'm a child, then you know what that makes you? A pedophile. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna stand here and be lectured by a pervert. This wedding is hot. Wake up, damn it! Wake up! You know what Joe said the street value of that cocaine would have been? Uh, let's see, four and a half kilos uncut Nicaraguan, uh, 1.7 mil, that area? Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's right. All right, I'm ready, come on, good game, good game, everybody, yeah, come on, good game, let's get out there, let's do it, yeah, yeah, 110%, everybody. I must say, I do feel a strange satisfaction watching the black ball topple all those self-righteous white pins. Can't blame them for being self-righteous. The black ball's in their neighborhood uninvited. The black ball's done nothing wrong. If the black ball's innocent, it has nothing to fear. Hey, Doc, you have to keep those two boxes right next to each other. Why? What do they say? I think we're through here. Yeah! <laughs> Griffin, I said no showboating. This calls for a victory tune. Now, a woman who kisses on the very first date is usually a hussy, and a woman who kisses on a second time out is anything but fussy. But a woman who wait till a third time around, head in the clouds, feet on the ground, she's the girl he's glad he's found. She's his shaboopy. On your marks, get set, white guys go. I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else. <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. And you can always be proud of your father and all of his accomplishments. What accomplishments? Go to your room. Yeah, but I hope for your sake the cake's better than the last party I went to. <laughs> oh, God! Coconut! A griffin never knows when to stop. Clear. Clear. <clears throat> oh, you... you saved my life, Doctor. Clear. All right, I made a touchdown. Oh, now there are plenty of people who have had worse days. Oh, a parking ticket. I was gone five minutes. Oh, how could this day get any worse? Oh, my God. Uh, excuse me, it's been brought to my attention that a few bad apples out there are smoking marijuana. Uh, I've got news for you, my friend. Marijuana's illegal, not cool. All right, then. Establishment, establishment. You always know what's best. You suck! Learn the rules! I need some excitement. What are you talking about? Your life is plenty exciting. For example... There you go. Good night. What if I help you get a girl? Really? He you, you think you could do that? Sure, all we gotta do is get you a little fixed up. You know, get your hair cut, give you good clean... Ah! Shave, maybe some cologne, the chicks will be all over you. Go on, buds. 
Drink my suds till you've reached that pure inebriation, though the beer may be free. You're just renting it from me. You think the language in the Second Amendment is clear enough? You know, about the right to bear arms? Of course it's clear. Every American has the right to hang a pair of bear arms on their wall. How could that possibly be misconstrued? Welcome to the Silly Nannies. I'm the quarterback, Leslie. This is our team. If you marry me, I'll dig for you and break for you. If you marry me, I'll scrub for you and bake for you. If you marry me, all others I'll forsake for you. All this will I do if you marry me. All this will I do if you marry me. Sir, I need another dollar twenty-five. Is that right? Keep the change. Roadhouse. I say, Jenkins, you give me that dirty look one more time and I have a good mind to get into my PJs and have a pillow fight with you. Very well, then. On guard! I, you I, like, you. I, like, you. I like your gown. I like yours. In a moment, we will use the special lights to see just how filthy this seemingly clean hotel room really is. <laughs> Look, my first bike. Boy, I had so much fun playing with that. More tea, Mr. Bike? It's like I died and went to heaven. But, but then they realized that it wasn't my time, and so they sent me back to a brewery. As it turns out, the lump on your chest was just a fatty corpuscle. Fatty corpuscle? Wait a minute. How the hell can a dead comedian from the silent movie era be lodged in my left bosom? Mr. Griffin, I'm saying you're fine. I'm fine? What, are you coming on to me now? Peter, he's not coming on to you. He's trying to tell you that you're healthy. Can it be both? Wow, Brian, have you lost weight? You gotta tell me your secret. Here's a hint. Put down the fork! Face! Me and Lois's old man have never gotten along. Hey, I got an email from Mr. Pewterschmidt. <laughs> Gary Wonder Woman, I got three kings. Now let's see your pair. <sighs> All right. Wait, hey, Robin, what are you looking at me for? Look at her. I'm going out for a little while. Hey, wait, wait. You can't tell anyone I'm here. For if humanity discovers I'm no longer lurking in the shadows, the consequences will be dire. Go on. That's it. What the hell do you see in him? Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Hi, I'm Al Harrington, president and CEO of Al Harrington's wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man emporium and warehouse. Thanks to a shipping error, I am now currently overstocked on wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube men, and I am passing the savings on to you. Lois, I'm scared. Oh, I'll get that. Hey! Oh, oh, oh God! Oh, Dave! Sorry! Oh, oh, God! <laughs> nice day we're having. Oh, yes! What? He said nice day, but he covered with rain. So? So he said it's when your brain no, it's not really nice day. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, he said the opposite. It's funny. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I get it. Nice day. Oh, now you're funny, too. Oh. Well, I really admired the mother character's admission of personal torment after her daughter's death. I disagree. I felt a total lack of ethical integrity in her readiness to abandon her children and start a life of her own. Uh, here's another thing. The book can also be... a hat. You know, that really grinds my gears. Where exactly in the Bible does it say a man can't fire off some knuckle children in the privacy of his own neighbor's living room while his neighbor's at work because I don't have a DVD player? Well, I don't know where it says it because the Bible is way too long to read. That's what we call a manatee, boys. Or in nautical slang, the sea cow. Where is it? Keep looking. I can't find it anywhere. Keep looking. There's nothing but a fish tail down there. Keep looking. Oh, there we go. That's not it. It's gonna be. Lois, undecided voters are the biggest idiots on the planet. Try giving short, simple answers. Sir, your question, please. Mrs. Griffin, what do you plan to do about crime in our city? A lot. She's got my vote. <laughs> Because that's what Jesus wants. 9-11 was bad. I agree with that. Hey, getting some writing done there, buddy? Yeah, setting up in public so everybody can watch me type my big screenplay. Me too. All real writers need to be seen writing. Otherwise, what's the point, right? You should totally write that down. Okay, will you watch me? Mrs. Griffin, what are your plans for cleaning up our environment? 9-11. <laughs> Mrs. Griffin, what about our traffic problem? Nine. Huh? Eleven. <laughs> Something about 
two gay people get married. I, I just don't think it's right. Well, these questions are too big to be decided by human beings, which is why God made this film. So, uh, what's your favorite Madonna album? I like her early work. If his answer is anything but, I've never bought one, you've got a gay. Let's take a blood sample, Mr. Braga. If instead of human blood, you find a deadly corrosive acid, you've got a gay. Not this time, Nancy boy. How does it feel to have the lake back? Well, I'll tell you, Tricia, as a local resident, I feel like I can once again take pride in my community. I think this is really going to revitalize tourism, and... <laughs> And if you look around, I think even the wildlife is starting to come back. And, you know, that's something we haven't seen in a while. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of that. I never slept with a woman with the lights on. I'll go next. Uh, I never had sex with Cleveland's wife. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, I never did a chick in a Logan Airport bathroom. Mr. Weed, I uh, was wondering if maybe you'd like to come over to my house for dinner Friday night. Huh, that wasn't so hard. Well, what time? Uh, I don't know, 7.38. Mom, I can't buy my jacket. <laughs> Peter, take off that belt! The buckle smells like acid! If Lois finds out I'm ditching her to play golf, she'll hit me with a frying pan. Which is why I'm gonna drink this frying pan antidote. All right, hit me with this. Didn't work. Hooray! I'm mayor again! Don't we need to have a whole new election? There. Now no one will have heard him say that. We all heard him say it. Anybody else hear anything? My wife did. God, let's see, what else is there? Um, I never gave a reach around to a spider monkey while reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, God! I, uh, I never picked up an illegal alien at Home Depot to take home and choke me while I touched myself. Oh, come on! Uh, I never did the same thing, but with someone from Joanne Fabrics. Oh, God, this is ridiculous! I just hope his teen years go better than mine. Boy, talk about awkward. Oh, baby. Oh, Sandy. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sandy. Yeah. Oh. Sandy? Oh, not again. I'm gonna be a virgin forever. Or am I? Sunday's my internet porn night. Oh, yeah. You're my Chinese Lois. Thanks, honey. Say hi to your husband. Oh, I got AIDS again. Better take my NyQuil cold flu and AIDS. All gone. Stand up, all fat men. Stand up straight. Stand up because no chair can hold your weight. If God created us to be so big, that's proof he must be. A big fat pig. My God, is that Meg? 36D, Brian. And you know what's amazing? In this universe, she's still one of the ugly ones. If you saw Lois, your penis would shoot right off your body. That'll be twenty-seven fifty. Brian, this is painful. It's like listening to those two foreign guys down at the coffee shop who've been living in the U.S. almost long enough to sound American. Oh, man. What a good bunch of partying at that discotheque. They played one of my audience requests. Way awesome. I myself drank like five liters of beer. Any more and I would have ended up in hospital, man. Oh, you said it, friend. But I wanted to stay because I almost had sex on this girl. Oh, yeah, but it was so expensive. Each drink was like $6.40. It seems we're in a universe where everything is drawn by Disney. Look, there's our house. <laughs> Look how gaily we rub! All right, Joe, let's lose the wheelchair and shoot this thing. 
Peter, I can't lose the wheelchair. I need it to move. Okay, yeah, but your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film and action. Joe, get out of the damn chair. Chris, get the cattle prod. <laughs> okay, now give him some peanut butter so we can make it look like he's talking. Now let's grip it and rip it. The Fed is going to be lowering rates, so get your money out of T-bills and put it all into waffles. Tasty waffles with lots of syrup. Waffles! Buy waffles! 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 Speed 3, Glacier of Doom. If this glacier goes slower than one mile a year, we're all dead! Tell me something I don't know! Get out of the way! One day, Vegeta went swimming too soon after eating a sandwich, and this happened. Help! Help! I'm drowning! H help! We gotta get this woman to surgery time! Right stat now! But it was too late, and she died from a rotten vagina. Finn. Wow, that was the worst piece of crap I've ever seen. Well, Rudolph, we finally figured out what makes your nose red. Is it pixie dust or, or leprechaun tails? No, it's a tumor. You mean like a magical Christmas tumor? No, a malignant tumor. The base of which is lodged deep within your brain. Oh. Like a happy special... You're going to die. So this is where babies come from? Yes, Chris. This is where babies come from. You told me I came out of your vagina! <laughs> Maybe you don't have to pee. Hey, I ought to just give you some beer. It goes right through you. Wonderful. And while we're at it, we can light up a doobie and watch porn. Yeah? So, how's that leg doing? Uh, great, great, never better. Good. Why don't you try putting some weight on it? Uh, sure. Yes, yes, oh, that's good. That feels good, very strong. Sorry, Thunder, I gotta put you down. <laughs> how's your leg, huh? How's your leg? You ready to race? Huh? <laughs> butt scratcher, butt scratcher. Get your butt scratcher here. Butt scratcher. 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 Oh, Stewie and Brian, you're just in time for pie. Did somebody say pie? The New Yorker. I bet Lois's dad reads this. I'd be more apathetic if I weren't so lethargic. Oh, I get it. That, that, that's kind of funny. Yeah, can I have a copy of Jugs? Love it. Hate it. Love it. Hate it. Uh, Brian, this feels weird. Hit the button. 